the Atlanta Braves and the Washington Nationals just about ready to roll here and on the mound for Washington in this one Jake Irvin but Chris he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. First pitch, 135. The 01. Swung on, belted. Way back there. Got it! Great leaping catch! Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. And a guy having a big year for him, Ozzie Albies. No, Boog, not just the fans, not just the people watching this game, but us. I mean, we're pretty fired up to watch this guy swing the bat. He's got big-time pop this season, slugging percentage over 500. Outfielders, put your track shoes on because you're going to be running in the gaps trying to climb the wall. This guy is going to do damage when he gets the bat to the baseball. Don't take your eyes off of him. Yeah, Austin Riley is one of those guys that has a lot of barrels, usually amongst the tops in the league in average exit velocity year in and year out. Millis, under it, makes the catch in and over. Back here in Nationals Park. And pitching in this game, Spencer Strider. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his oh, hand with more great. life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And now two balls two and a ball. strike. One strike. Ball. And downstairs. Three balls, one strike. The three one. That's a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Everything came together for him. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it right out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Outside, that's ball. The 0 one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. And a one-two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Abrams gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Popped up. Albies pulls it down, and there's two gone. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. The designated hitter. Kiebert Ruiz. Off the mark there. And that is ball one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Next offering upstairs. Fought off foul. Two two now. Ruiz checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And that's ruled a swing. It's a strikeout. End of one. And we're still scoreless. 
Matt Olson up to the plate. There you see how he's doing down the stretch with his August and September splits. Irvin back to work. Late on that fastball. Oh, and one. Fella, come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. That one fouled off. And the right hater deals. Goes down looking. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. One down, base is empty. In the air, out towards right center. Thomas makes the grab, and there are two down. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Michael Harris. Michael. Swing and a miss. Oh, one, and it's 0 yeah. 1. That's a really big swing right there. He's got to remember with this speed, a walk or a single can turn into extra bases by stealing a base or two. 0 oh, oh, 2 as he waves at that one. Just a weak fly ball this time. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And that is the ready to go for the last half of the inning. Up now for Washington, Carter Keeboom. Ball one, oh, no strikes. Foul ball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And the pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Got him looking for the K. And now it's Luis Garcia. His home and away splits there. In there and it's 0-1. That was absolute oh, gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. And that one oh, almost oh, got him. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Not two close one. with that one. And it's 2-1. and one. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Misses. And now three and two. Drew Millis waits on deck. And that's ball four. Just missed his spot on the inside right there. So a change being made at first base. Coming in to run for the Nets. Michael Chavis. Next to hit, Drew Millis. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Swings and misses. And it's 0-2. Boog, our man, Daryl Parker, DP, had a home plate for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. You can't always count on how he's going to call it from game to game. Diving, and he can't make the play. Safe. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point this one. Runners at the corners here. One away. Now the left fielder, Alex Call. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Pitch is in there. 0 oh, and 2. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. And down on strikes he goes. 
Huge strikeout there. Definitely a strikeout situation right there, and he got it. You do not want him to put the ball in play and want to strand that runner at third. Now all he needs is one more out to get it. Doesn't have to be a strikeout this time since now they're two outs. Number 30 stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And that's in for a strike. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Jack swing, went around, and the count, two one and two. And right back to the mound. In plenty of time to first inning over. Two left on. We play two full. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Now into the game, Michael Chavis. He'll play second. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. The catcher. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. High fly ball out towards left field. Back there. His 12th of the season, and now they're out in front. It's one zip. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bull. So they turn things over to one of their young arms, Jackson Rutledge. He last pitched two days ago. Here's Eddie Rosario. Rutledge. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Call. Ranging back. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the catch. And there's two down. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. He's over one. Acuna Jr. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Call. Gets under it. Brings it in for the third out. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show. Bottom of the inning. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. Strider back to work. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Swing and a miss, and a count one and one. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Rysel Iglesias taking over on the mound. 29 saves on the season. So he's looking for number 30 right here. He's been big for him in the back of that bullpen. Next pitch is inside. 
And one and one. And the slider just misses. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. And a 2-1 hammered, but foul. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Manessas in the box now. Take strike one as the Nationals are down to their final out. Strike two. He's in a great spot right here. Ahead in the count, 0-2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. Home team down a run. And the home team trying to pull it out. Now he steps off. Ground ball left side. On to first. Ball game. And the Braves claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. They say a solo shot won't beat you, but that definitely doesn't apply in a three-inning game. That often can be all you need, and that was the case here in this one. The final one to nothing for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chubb. Thanks for joining us.